pilot to navigator. Will you get with it long enough and tell me how much longer to the IP? 45 seconds, Major. I hope you don't mind waiting, sir. I sent it. It's all yours, Richards. Navigator to pilot. Richards stopped one, sir. He's hit bad. He breathing? Well, yes, sir, he's breathing. And prop him up. Do what, sir? I said prop him up. If he can breathe, he can work that bomb site. Well, I don't think he can see. He can try. And, Lieutenant, if we don't put some bombs in those submarine fans, I'll hold you personally responsible. Now get with it. Starring Frank Overton and Chris Robinson with guest stars William Shatner, Ellen Willard, Andrew Duggan. Tonight's episode, I Am the Enemy. Is a duck. I live. You live. Something I can do for you, Colonel? No, Brown, you've already done it upstairs this morning. Another fine job. Another fine job. How many submarine pens did we get this time, Colonel? We don't know as yet. G2 hasn't come up with a final evaluation. I'll give you mine right now. 34 aircraft destroyed in eight separate missions. Enemy sub pens destroyed, questionable. Enemy casualties, questionable. Tomorrow's mission, back to the sub pens. Prognosis, questionable. Major, I'm going to recommend that you get a button for your DFC. I'm also going to recommend that you skip tomorrow's run. You've earned a weekend in London. 42 missions, that's quite a lot. That's 17 more than you've had to fly. I do not desire a DFC. I do not desire a weekend in London. When I need the rest, I'll take it. Oh, I was looking for you. I just left your bombardier. He's going to die. It's too bad. After 22 missions, he was just beginning to pay his way. Why don't you go and tell him that? I'm sure it'll give him comfort. One of these days, we're all going to grow up chaplains along with the rest of us. 
We're going to stop wasting ourselves on subpens and railroads. We're going to bomb Germans in their homes, in their streets, in their churches, until they fear the very thought of us. Until all of them are either dead or terrified. the Germans to end the war. Excuse me. What is he? What is that man? Well, for one thing, he's a physiological phenomenon. Six hours sleep, he'll be fresh as a newborn baby. I don't know what keeps him going. Maybe it's his German blood. Major Brown reporting is ordered, sir. been on the carpet before, Major? Once or twice, sir. Did it bother you? Doesn't it bother everyone, sir? I'm not speaking about generalities. I'm speaking about you. I can't say I enjoy being put under the gun, sir, especially when I don't know why. Fear of the unknown? Like everyone else, sir. You're modest. Indeed, in view of the fact that your record shows that you are considerably different from everyone else. Outstanding record. Either you're a dedicated flyer or you're the luckiest show-off in the ETO. I'm proud of my record, sir. I'd be a liar if I said I wasn't. Major, these rays were uh, running on the... Uh, on the submarine pens. You've been flying lead when the colonel's other duties have kept him on the ground. Yes, sir. Well, this group, as a matter of fact, my whole wing, have suffered painful losses. But those raids are going on, and the losses are going on, because knocking out those pens will probably mean the war will be over a year earlier. I understand you disapprove of such costly targets. I'm only an aircraft commander, sir. I fly where I'm ordered to fly. How would you like to move up? Command something more than an aircraft. Is the colonel thinking of giving me a squadron? I'm thinking about giving you a group. The 82nd. Oh. What? Uh, I knew uh, Colonel Brock was leaving, sir. The idea doesn't interest you. Sir, we might as well strip it down to the bone. I'm not very well liked. And I'm not running a popularity contest. I'm not sure contest. I'd want the assignment, sir. What I want... Excuse me. What I want, what I know best, is what I'm doing. Flying. Bombing. Yes, sir. Bombing Germans until they're all dead or terrified. Yes, sir. I have been correctly quoted. Sir, the enemy is not some character out of a picture book. Some faceless, gun-firing puppet. He happens to be a flesh-and-blood human animal. He's real. The general knows I was born there. I know them firsthand. I know who we have to defeat and why. I want everyone to know, but I can't speak to everyone. So maybe I'm trying to put it across by example, by flying, bombing. Major, what if I told you I was cutting orders, making you commander of the 82nd? Then 
And I'd run it the same way Colonel Gallagher runs the 918th. I'll fly with it, wherever and whenever I can. Thank you, Major. That'll be all. Well, in my book, he's a very rational man with a clear idea of what he's doing here. A lot like you. So if you don't want him for a squadron, I want him for the 82nd. For better or for worse. fellas are flying in the morning, you'd better get some sleep. Yes, sir. I won't again. That's all right. Use me whenever you like. And I'm not embarrassed. But Elizabeth, you know I'm right. You should go home. Home? Miserable cell. Well, Elizabeth, we're all putting up with a way of life we don't like very much. Now, either we handle it and make the best of it, or we let it drag us under. Oh, Carol. Leave me alone. Well, I do have an appointment and I'm running late. Elizabeth, I'm concerned about the curfew. I'll call you a taxi. No, no, no. Bartender, take out for the ladies' drink and mine. Also the major's whiskey. Why, thank you, Colonel. You standing treat for your problem, children, tonight? Major, I wonder if you'd do me a little favor. Debts are like kids. The littlest are the loudest. I'd rather row the bartender. Look, Brown, I have to meet a general and I'm late. Would you get a taxi cab and escort this young lady home, please? Pick up your own dirty laundry. Sir. Bartender. Wait a minute. I was out of line. I'm sorry. My name is Hoffman. Elizabeth Hoffman. Thanks, Brown.
think you're stealing the Colonel's girl, is that what? Well, that's pretty funny. Get yourself a drink and get out. You're sick. I've got a headache, you mind? Sit down. Shut up. I apologize, lady. When do you fly again? Look, you bought me a drink. You've made your little contribution. You don't even owe me any conversation. Good night. Major. I was never Colonel Gallagher's girlfriend. What's that supposed to mean? Just that I'm not something to be stolen. And I'm not something to be conquered. But I am alone. You seem to like it that way. Do you? What do you do, read tea leaves? Major, what do you think the universal language is? The real one. Music. Love. No. Loneliness. That's why you came in here. And why I told you to get out. So let's keep it honest. What'd you say your name was? Elizabeth. Navigator, he just. Passed. I think it's a ruptured appendix, sir. He was sick at briefing, but when the major flies, we all fly. Look, can I take another man and go back? I turned around, you see, because the man Church. started. Church, you don't have to explain this kind of an abort. And no one would let a man die like that just to finish a mission. Yeah, but why suddenly start turning tail now? Huh? Because some meatballs got a bellyache. I thought I'd see the day the Iron Major would have worked and come back by himself. Let's go. Sir. What I don't understand is why I let myself do it. Let yourself. The man almost died. Why, oh, Gallagher suddenly accepted it. For the first time since I transferred in here, he calls me Kurt. Does that make any sense? Why not? Nothing makes any sense. Nobody changes overnight. I don't change, you don't. He doesn't. Forty-two lousy missions. I don't suddenly blow one for a bellyache. No. We have any of that scotch left. Kurt, what makes you think you've done something bad? You wouldn't understand. I'd like to try. You don't think he'd try grounding me, do you? Who, oh, Gallagher? Yesterday morning, I... General Britt sat there, 
quoting things to me, things I had said to Gallagher. He talked about the 82nd group. I'm not going to get the 82nd group. He's going to slit my throat. Kurt, you realize you're not making sense. Oh, you bet I am. Oh, you bet I am. I almost fell for that, that glad hand approach of his, but now I see he's jealous. One abort in 42 missions, and he's going to use it to pull a rock out from under me. Suppose you don't get the 82nd group. You think I care about the 82nd group? He can have it along with the, the promotion. But if he thinks he's going to keep me out of the air... I've never heard anyone talk himself into such a temper over nothing. Nothing. Your commanding officer calls you by name. Therefore, he's out to get you. Kurt, that's sheer paranoia. Yes. I'm sorry. I want to fly. I have to fly. If there's any reason for me, for my life, it's this, to fly. The Iron Major. You want me to be ashamed of what I am, I'm ashamed. You want me to apologize, I apologize. It's what I am, it's all I am, it's all I can be. Until I'm dead, or until all of them are dead. All of them. All Germans must die. Is that really you? I never asked or expected you to like me. I don't like you. I'm in love with you, and I'm German. Very funny. I'm a citizen here because I married a British boy. The Germans killed him. My German mother and my German father sent me to British schools. They still call me citizen over there. I am the enemy, Kurt. I am John! You lie! Why you lie! Why Colonel Gallagher asked you to take me home before the curfew? Gallagher! I know the loud on the streets! Not him! Blame us! Blame all Germans! Great waste to pilot. Jerry Fighter's waiting just outside the flag bed, sir. Whole big gaggle. Right. Major, three is overheating. I think we've got an oil leak. Turning on IP, 30 seconds. I'd better feather three before it burns. Feather three. Where's my power? What's the matter with you? Three fans, Major. Number three is feathered. What's the matter with you? Right ways to crew. Fighters, fighters, two o'clock high. Fighters, see us falling behind. Just because some eight balls got a belly ache. I'm on them. I'm on them. Get the leader. Rudder control. Pilot a tail. We hit back there. Right ways to pilot. Tail gunner's dead, sir. I think they chopped some control cables.
I have to talk to you. Write me a letter. Please. Please, Liz. I flew a whole mission today. I got my teeth kicked in. I really got knocked around. And I don't remember what happened. None of it. Do you understand what I'm saying? I had to pump my crew to fill me in before interrogation. Please let me in. Only too long to stand against your judgment. I am still German, and you are still Kurt Braun. Get out of my life. I can't. I don't want to. I'm trying to tell you. I found that out today. I found out the only thing I could think or feel was you. You were ready to kill me last night. No. I was not. Not you. I went over from here and made an idiot of myself with Gallagher. When I'm wrong, I'm wrong. The Iron Major. Myself, Liz. Gallagher said, face it, and I guess I did. I've been trying to realize that my secret was never really a secret. Liz, I keep a gun in my room, me, a Catholic. It's myself. I've been ready to kill or get killed. I thought if the war wouldn't do it, I'd have to. Until I met you, Liz. Ever since I was 12 years old, that's all I've wanted. To die. Why? Can you imagine what a shock it was to look at you? Why? Maybe someday I'll have to. But if there's a chance for you and me, those things are behind me now. How do you dare put your life in my hands? I'm not asking anything of you. For me, there's no choice. here for a special reason. For the last four weeks, the 918th has been taking a beating. A terrible beating. But I thought you'd all be happy to know that it's not been for nothing. Our latest intelligence reports indicates that the sub-pens of St. Nazar are going. It's been a long pull. It's been an expensive pull. But with luck, today's raid and tomorrow's maximum effort should finish the job. Now, so there is no misconception the Nazis cannot afford to lose that base. You can expect them to throw everything they've got at you. Everything. The next 48 hours should tell the story. I want all the navigators of the new crews to gather around this table. Colonel Gallagher wants to show you the strike photos. Yes, miss. Oh, well.
Colonel, it seems I owe you an apology. General, are you going to write him off? Oh, it doesn't quite come to that. It may surprise you to know that I give certain credence to your opinions. My opinion, for whatever it's worth, the man's had it. You ought to ground him. Why? Because he passed out from exhaustion? Well, I've done that myself. General, I would like to wait for a diagnosis. Well, I have a staff meeting. Go. You know I don't want that man written off. I didn't want to be written off myself. But it's possible for a man to accept the idea that he no longer has any business flying an airplane. General, any personal problem I get involved with is a luxury. Now, I may not always like it, but this job will always come first. General, I need him. I need him badly. So long, General. Ravi! What's the verdict, Doc? It doesn't seem to fall within my jurisdiction. You mean it isn't physical? And, Doc, do you think it could be fear? Well, I'm no psychiatrist, but no, I don't detect anything irrational. He seems to have a typical migraine. He may never have another. But he wants out. Doc, let me ask you an uneducated question. Do you think it's out he wants, or is it life? Well, I'm no philosopher, either. No, I mean, do you think he suddenly wants to live? Maybe. Doc, I want him with me tomorrow when we hit San Nazaire. If he finally knows what fear is, if he's becoming a member of the human race, then he'll be a better pilot than ever before. Well, I'll put it this way. I believe he's physically and mentally sound, but in view of the symptoms, if he wants out, I'm washing him out. No, Colonel. The answer is no. But every man's entitled to fear. A man who was never afraid is... I'm a... not afraid, Colonel. I'm scared blind. I'm so scared I can't even fill my lungs. But don't you understand every man who flies, flies scared? I fly scared. Now, if you've flown 40-odd missions and have never known what fear is, then you're very lucky. Lucky? I tell you, my luck is... My luck is American relatives. They smuggled me out of the Reich when I was very young. And so you're trying to pay a debt to them by destroying Germans? And myself. You were right about that, Colonel. Well, it won't work, Kurt. I know it won't. That's why I want to quit. I'm entitled to quit. I'm quitting. And still feeling guilty. That's my business. Yours alone? Or do you intend to carry it and ask Elizabeth Hoffman to share it with you? Isn't she the reason for the change? I love her. I'm glad. All right, Kurt, you've done more than your share. You want to quit, quit. But don't quit for fear. It'll only add to the guilt. If you want to quit, quit for her.
I missed a mission yesterday. I do not feel gladness, relief. All I feel is that I want to go today. Do you understand that, Liz? Yes. I understand. I understand it. Gallagher talks a better game than I do. It's not a game. It isn't even a compulsion anymore. I'm scared, Liz. But I'm right. Whatever you say, you know I'm right. I'll see you tonight. in the waiting. Luck. What crummy luck. Remind me to shoot the weather officer when we get back. If we get back. Like they say, best things always come last. Not waste the power. Here they come, sir. Here they come. Pilot's a crew. Call them out. Call them out. Coming around to you. Pilot, a navigator. How far do I be? How far? Navigator to pilot. I'm in a 10, sir. 110. Not waste the crew. Fighters at 9 o'clock high and 10 o'clock level. Nail them. Nail them.
Ramrod one to formation. Breaking right. Breaking right. Oh, we did it this time, Skipper. We really clobbered them. you made him go up that one last Liz, he is proud he is proud of what he did and why he did it you gave it to him Liz don't ever take it away from him he needs you now <laughs> 